is an unbelievable new opportunity collaboration between George Masvidal, my gold, old friend, Andre Arlovsky, first round management, Abraham, and most importantly, AMC Crypto. AMC Fight Night Crypto, this is a chance for fighters to not only get exposure, not only fight, not only do all the things that they that they're just do naturally, but to set up a future for themselves, to make big money in the future and for the fans to be a part of it, to be essentially when everybody gets in on this crypto, we're all gonna be partners in the same company and we can all make money together. Normally you're at home cheering for a guy and he's making millions of dollars and you're sitting on your couch. This is an unbelievable opportunity for everybody to make money and get behind something together and everybody who loves fighting. And nobody loves fighting more than these two guys. Yeah. So, because uh, they actually do it. I love it, man, to give back to the community. I love crypto personally just because uh, there's non inflation from the government. One of the things that I like the most about it. So, that it gives a give back to the community and we could have our own form of currency that we could trade with. I love it, man. It's awesome. Beautiful. Andre? Jorge first, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Tony Montana. I'm happy that I'm with, with one, one team with you guys and with my dear friend from Cuba. Georgie, so everything good. Let's rock and roll. Yeah. So, so now we have to download the Trust Wallet app. This will give everyone the opportunity to get your hands on this unbelievable currency. Now, now we found AMC Fight Nights. So you subscribe for. This is your wallet. Now you you gotta receive. There is a number. Mm -hmm. Copy of the number and send this number to me. So the main question is that you think that uh, I will tell. I mean the same both of you. It's up to you who will answer first. And you think it's a right idea to just connect it with Bad Boy Gloves, AMC Fight Night Talking, and to rise it. You know, like business. You think it's the right idea to make it happen? Like to make it that collaboration of boxing with AMC Fight Night Talking, meaning like Bad Boys Gloves, because it's a boxing in the end of the day, and we're collaborating. It's not like to wear a t-shirt. It's a whole project that's gonna grow, and of course the crypto coins start growing too. You think it's better idea to make a noise and make that crypto coin to rise? For a fact, you know. Especially the fact that nobody's ever done this before, it's something brand new. I think just that alone is magic to make it explode. The good part about AMC Fight Night Token is that it was created by people who know what a sport is. Meaning MMA, it's the biggest promotion in Russia and Europe pretty much. They did like 750 tournaments, a lot of shows. Yeah, Yemelianenko was fought there before, a lot of people, a lot of fighters. So that's why they create this for athletes and people who support it. Because they know that, okay, Jorge Masvidal is the greatest fighter, champion of the world. They want to support him. Like you said before that, you want to support your community, right? So every people thinking like that, that they will support you. They will buy that coins. They will invest their money into their future, like pretty much you're doing now. Because you're investing now in your future. And the same that uh, this project, Bad Boys Gloves, that we have, you're aware about that. There will be uh, two teams. You're going to be a leader of one team. Daniel Escardina, your opponent, is going to be opposite in another team. And like we talked before with Dino, that it's a good chance for all the fighters who's going to be there. It's not like all, only about you see the boxing. It's all about the investing into the future, like Dino said, you know, because everybody will get that coins. It will grow. Some of them, maybe they will cash themselves out, like after the month. Some of them will be more smarter and they will wait. Yeah, because... and they will cash themselves out after. So it will bring a lot of uh, attention. yeah attention. And you know, I hope that the fighters will believe in it, meaning that they will be, believe in their future, you know? Absolutely, this is a big opportunity for them not to blow. There's a chance, I mean, usually you sign on the dotted line, that you get 5,000 bucks, you show up and fight, and you go home, you win, lose, or draw, you take your money, go home. There's never been, and the promoter typically, the Don Kings of the world, the Dana White's world, they make all the money. Well, now this is a chance for not only the fighters and the fans at the same time to all reap the benefits. And it's gonna make it a lot more exciting, a lot more energy. And that's how you really support it. You put your money where your mouth is. And that is really what we need to do.
George and Andre can make a lot of money. Because you the, know, the more the more these two champions will promote it, the more it will grow. I mean, there's no limits. Yeah. There's no limits. Exactly. That will grow and grow. You know, like. This is a unique opportunity, even for guys at your level that are already at the top. But like uh, Shaquille O'Neal says, he was rich, the guy that wrote his checks was wealthy. Yeah. And this is the chance to become wealthy. Yeah. And that's, sure. that's what everybody, then you could really support your community and do stuff for your family and your friends and your neighborhood with that money because that's what it takes to support. So this is the opportunity. And Bad Boys Gloves is gonna be a unique opportunity where ground level fighters, both from MMA and boxing, are gonna get to put on a show, get exposure. Daniele Scardino from Italy, Jorge Masvidal and Andre Vlosky. We're looking for one more captain, and that's gonna make the four, man, four team tournament. And these guys are gonna to have to use all their experience and uh, guile and, and motivation and inspiration to get these guys that aren't nearly at your level to rise up and do the best they can and really have, accomplish what they can so that your team can win and you get more crypto coin, more importantly. Our very first uh, team competition, which is really unique for you fighters, because you're gonna be the supporter instead of the supported, uh, is gonna be Jorge Masvidal team versus uh, Daniele Scardina. Daniele, can you get in here please? Come and meet your, your opponent. How are you? Come sit down. Come here, sit down. Yeah, what's up, bro? What do you think, Daniele? I think it's a, it's a good idea, you know, to... It's good, it's, and to... to it's a good motivation too, because people can make money. So, yeah. so that, at the end of the day, the people want to make money. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, typically the MMA is pulling one way and boxing is pulling the other way. This is a chance to get everybody pulling the same direction. Yeah. And that's why the McGregor fight was such a big deal, and that's why everybody made so it's much the money. Same, because they made a lot of noise. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, the same concept, pretty much. Like, yeah. The more you make noise, the more you make noise. I'm money. sorry to interrupt you, money. but Jorge, he's like, I'm sure he can make like more noise than probably McGregor because he has a strong base in, the, in, the, in Miami, a lot of Cubans here. Plus a lot of people love him, he's like, where is? So it's gonna be, I promise you, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of noise. Look, what I like actually in first, uh, our competition, that both guys has a charisma, you know? And both of them can make a noise and raise that crypto coin, AMC Fight Night, to the highest level. That's very, this is very exciting and very unique. The question is, is a, a real question. Can you guys, who are normally the center of attention, you two in particular, uh, can you support, can you coach, can you influence these guys? And how are you gonna do it? This is boxing. It's a little bit different game. I thought it was in May. Yeah, <laughs> surprise, <laughs> surprise, surprise. I'm coaching boxers. You're the, you're the coach of the boxing okay, team. Yeah. Um, well, I, I do have a strong boxing foundation under me, so I'm gonna bring those guys with me. They're gonna help me make all the executive decisions because these are guys that just uh, did boxing their whole life and they just helped me sharpen up my boxing tools. So their eye for boxing is gonna be even better than mine. So I'll be bringing some people on board to, to make it a little even, man. If not, I'm gonna get killed. Um, but as far as being in corners, I've been in a lot of world championship corners and MMA. So I, I, um, I've lived the moment and I know how to speak on the moment and I know how to get the information to individual athletes to them. You know, not every athlete's the same. Some work off uh, shouts, some work off, you know, just simple commands. So, um, man, as far as getting the information to the athlete, I'll be all right in that department. Gotcha. Daniela, you have, this is a big, big stage. These guys have been on big shows and uh, you have an opportunity to rise to this level. What are you going to do? What, what's going to make it happen for you and your team? You know, more than everybody, I, I like to work hard, so I'm going to prepare my father to, to be his team. So we're going to be ready for that day. Andre, you're going to be here for this whole thing. Do you think, uh, how do you, you think Jorge can handle this boxing? Fuck yes, if not, we will figure out what to do. <laughs> okay. No, no disrespect, I just like... No, 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 no. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's true, this is fine. Oh, I like to box up too. Of course, that's how we know each other. Yeah. I had an exhibition match against a uh, uh, fresh, fresh grand, remember? Back yeah, 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 yeah. So, so it's going yeah, to be, yeah. be very exciting. My first love is boxing. I knew that, yeah. Then, uh, MMA. Oh, nice. So it's gonna be a good competition. It's gonna be yeah, nice. He's watched more boxing, I think, than MMA. Oh, yeah. MMA gents boxing. I have a, one question for you, and then I will ask you about it. Boxing, like Dina said, 
this guy is professional boxer. You are coming, yeah, you have a boxing foundation, but you're still from MMA world, right? It's a different world, different fights. And this is the loneliest sport in the world, pretty much. If you will, we will forget about all that entourage that you have. In the end of the day, in the cage, you're alone. In the ring, you're alone. Now, you're outside of it. You will need to, what are you gonna do? Like, what tips, because I know what he's gonna do. He's a boxer, I understand boxing. He will give some tips to the fighters and all that, you know, that he will explain them that, oh, throw uppercut for the moment, you know. What exactly you are going to do? How are you gonna to support your team, let's say? Formulate the best team that I can get my hands on for boxing. Because I'm not a boxer, so if I've seen 100,000 left jabs, he's seen a million, you know, and so on and so on and yeah. so on. But there is guys that I know that I can hire to make this competitive, you know, because I don't like to lose, man. So I'm going to bring the guys that I know that, that I've been working around with years that I've seen them develop guys from jump rope to world champions. I know guys like that in Miami because I do come from a hotbed of boxing, which is Miami. We get a lot of the human defects. We get a lot of people worldwide just come to Miami. A lot of camps are held in Miami. So boxing is not my forte. It's not my, my thing. My thing is MMA, obviously, and I watch more MMA now than boxing. But um, I won't be a fish out of water either. So it's going to be more motivation, actually. You're going to motivate your fighters. Because motivation is pretty much 70% yeah. of the job. E everything I'm doing, everybody that's involved with me, I want okay. them to win, you know? So okay. we're, we're going for the victory, you know? All right. And it's, and it's a better, bigger challenge that I'm going against another professional boxer that does this for a living. Yeah, okay. So during all this project, what we're going to do, the plan is, so first one is going to be in Fifth Street Gym, in Dino's Gym. The semifinal is going to be pretty much in Fifth Street Gym 2, but after we're going to the Hard Rock Hotel, it's going to be like a final there. Then, yeah, the next location will be some villa, some nice villa. It's going to be like, uh, it's going to be the fight in some villa, some nice one. And that's how we're going to, that's the project, that's the plan. So uh, I hope that by that time all the fighters will grow too, so they will yeah. perform better and better because uh, you guys are professionals. And the same thing for you, Daniele. So I know that it's you're a boxing guy, you're a professional boxer, and pretty much I understand what you're going to do. I know that tips and tricks that you have. So what's your plan? How are you going to beat Tim Masvidal? My plan is to prepare this guy to 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 be in, in the war, you know, to yeah, because, you're not because I'm no, I I'm pretty sure he's gonna prepare his guy like to to the war because he's a he's a champion. I mean he's a. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna prepare his guy to to make a war. So I'm gonna do the same. You know, I'm gonna motivate my guys to to be to give the best. You know. So there the will be a war. Then. Yeah, that's gonna be a war. You know, in the past, Bad Boys Gloves has been very interesting. Your records aren't on the line. Yeah. You have gloves and headgear on. There's no reason to hold back. You're not, you don't have to save, you don't have to worry about getting cut, you don't gotta worry about, yeah. about it going on your record. You're, you know, you're not on TV. So you wind up even more so, I think, than regular fights. No, some, some fighters have the ability to really let go, and that's why they are who they are. But a lot of people, when the lights and camera on, are a little reserved. I have not seen any reserve from anybody in Bad Boys Gloves yet. People have let their hands go and kind of lesser fighters have really rised to the occasion yeah. to keep up. We've had amateurs with pros and the amateurs have hung with the pros. Unbelievable. So this can be an opportunity as long as these guys set the example uh, to really, uh, really explode these guys that are, no one has ever heard of them, but now they're gonna be on the same TV with one of the most yeah. famous fighters in the yeah. world. Yeah. So it's really gonna be an opportunity, yeah. yeah. Uh, do sport, like boxing? Yeah. Yeah. There's part some elite level fights because usually when you prepare you try to get some good sparring so, partners. So if, I'm, if I'm working in a particular like discipline like just boxing or if I'm gonna fight a boxing guy that has a, a sparring. No, I know. I'm explaining. Okay. If I'm gonna fight a good boxer okay. in, a, in a fight or if I'm just gonna work on boxing then then I work with good boxers. But I don't always work with uh, with like high level boxers unless there's a specific a specific cause for it. You know? ah, okay. So the last time I worked out with like a high level boxer maybe like Two years ago. Oh, okay. yeah. Who was? Yeah. Cuban and a lot of good yeah, fighters. Yeah, no. We go there some time. And it's a different rhythm. You yeah. know, these guys, they, they move different than me. So I could throw them off originally, you because know, my movements are foreign to them. That's wild, yeah. But their movements to, to me are also different. You ever find box? 
Say it again. You did. You one, one, one time. One pro box. Pro box. One time ago. Yeah. It's a different distance as well. It's a different distance. It's a different you know? distance as well. So it's uh, it's fun, man. I, mean, I think he's a different box all the time. Every, you know, Andre makes every MMA fight a boxing match. Yeah. yeah. And, that's you know, and that's why people love him so much. Yeah. yeah. Andre, you know? I have a question. Like, I know that you spar a lot of boxers, too. You spar Andy Ruiz, right? And you are, you will have your soon. We will know who's your opponent and how are you gonna do it? I mean, how are you gonna prepare your fighters? Because you have that boxing experience, you box with the boxers, you know? Like uh, Jorge mentioned, like box, like you know, Abraham, Abraham mentioned, boxing is like first love for sure. I remember it's all my boxing match, I non-stop watching like Johnny Tapia, Arturo Gatti. Yeah. And I, I always wanted to box back in the days, what McGregor with, with my weather did, like I supposed to do like 12 years Johnny. ago with uh, Klitschko. But I lost a couple of fights. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya told me, you know what, we're going to keep on hold your contract right now. But anyway. Uh, so it's not late. Never, never, never late. Now. I mean, we can. Jorge is absolutely right. We just like, it's going to be like our personal motivation to, to beat like professional boxing, what they're doing for a living. They do like MMA for a living. So it's a new area for us. And we want to be like the best one. Yeah, the McGregor, the McGregor uh, uh, fight was. So, so exciting, both boxing fans and MMA fans got behind it. It was great to see him go. Now that I got you alone, what are you really gonna do to make these MMA fighters look like they don't belong in the boxing ring? You know, we're gonna work hard. We're gonna prepare this guy to beat his team. And you know, he, he don't know. I mean, he's, 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 he's a good fighter, but he don't know about boxing like me. So we're gonna prepare this guy to to beat his team. I mean, you know, all he really can do is motivate them. He can cheer them yeah. on, he can push them, he can, but you're gonna have to be technical. Yeah. What, what type of things do you think you're gonna use from your own career that you can use in there without me, without me spoon for you? You're the captain now, it's not me. Yeah, no, um, I know, I know. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna be a new things for me too, cause it's new, but uh, I know I'm gonna prepare in boxing this guy. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give my technique and be ready to, 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 to beat him. Now, what separates you from other fighters is your gas tank. Nobody, you don't, you never get tired. Uh, you can't give that to them. That's yeah. something that's on, that they have to have. Either they got it or they don't. So I know. how are you gonna push them to, to be able to- I'm gonna train with them. I'm gonna be on, ah, on, the, go. on the project. I'm gonna be in, yeah. with the team all the time. So that's, it. that's, the that's what we have to By do. Example. By yeah, example. Be the sample. Perfect. As far as actual techniques go, is there something that you have in mind in general that you see that you know most fighters don't have? Especially, we have MMA guys come and spar with you once in a blue moon. What really separates your style from that MMA style? We're gonna box. We're gonna box. You know, the, use the jab like we always do, and and I use my technique. I wanna I wanna give my technique to this guy to to be ready to to fight against an MMA fighter because that's what you're gonna learn. That's what you're gonna teach to them. You know. Like you said, so, they're gonna wanna come to war. Yeah, yeah, they wanna wanna to come. So I, want, I I try to use the technique, punch him side, things what he, he don't really know. You know, so. You actually, today it was the first time you've met your opponent, essentially, your, yeah. the other captain. Uh, you know, he's a very famous guy, you've seen him on TV, but the first time you've seen him in person, what was your takeaway? What did you think of him when you first met him? I think he really believed in his self. I think he, he, he believed he can, he can beat my team, but I don't think so. I think my is gonna be ready and it's gonna box his team and he's gonna win. Okay, now, now that I have you alone, um, what really is the Jorge Masvidal special sauce that you're gonna give these guys? Like, don't I know you're you're you coming here very excited, enthusiastic, and, and you've been extra humble, and extra kind in the circumstance. But the the person, the persona that everyone knows is unbelievable level of confidence to borderline cockiness. And uh, what are you gonna do to really infuse these fighters with your spirit? Well, for starters, I'm gonna get them to believe in the program, right? So. Uh... That, that comes with a good, strong team, like I said, and I keep saying it, but the, it, it's a team to build a, a certain amount of fighters, a team. So once I get them to believe in the system, then we could overcome obstacles that maybe they could in the past, you know? To put it like in black and white terms, maybe they've never ran a mile in like six minutes, and we could get them to do something like that just so their mind can elevate. They could bring that in the ring with them. There, there's a lot of things, you know, and I get a lot of my confidence from just working hard, man. That's where I, I, I truly get it from. 
when I go to the gym sometimes and I get my butt kicked, whether it be lifting weights or in a sparring session, and I just have like a bad, bad day, and I'm like, I'm gonna keep doing this to like get good at this particular whatever the hell it is that's beating me up, and then maybe three weeks, maybe six weeks from now, I'll conquer this and I won't, it won't be that problem no more. And sure enough, and um, that's where I draw like my energy from my cockiness. So I'm putting the guys through the same things, just mental hurdles get over it, knowing that the team they have behind them is 100% with them, mixed with all my experience that I got in combat. Not that much in boxing, but um, it's not under the bright lights like you mentioned earlier. It's kind of like a sparring session. You know what? Nobody's got more time than sparring sessions than me, I think, you know? So if it's a sparring session, I can give advice galore, you know, whether it be um, from me having done it or all the advice I've given because I'm, I'm a gym rat. I've grown up in the gym my whole life. So we're, we're there at the gym hanging out, and if somebody's sparring, we're helping out. We're in the corner, or we're making it into like a, a fun event because we're making noise and stuff and making it get a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, making it, it get more amp, more energy out of it, you know. So we're always, uh, always in the gym, man. So me coaching guys is not a problem, man. Very good. Everybody watching, make sure you stay tuned. AMC Coin is gonna keep growing. So guy, watch MC Coin grow and uh, Bad Boy Gloves and the channel of YouTube. Follow Bad Boys Gloves YouTube channel.